Kia ora, hello, I'm Philip Duncan. It is Thursday the 9th of October. Thank you so much for joining me for this special 10-day New Zealand weather outlook as spring continues to blast on by us. Uh, look at the current satellite map this morning, a lot of energy out around Australia, Tasmania, New South Wales, South Australia, plenty of thunderstorms and wet weather as their unsettled spring pattern carries on. On the New Zealand side of things, a fair bit of cloud around. We do have a few showers up here around the North Island today. Uh, the yellow that you see in the east here, high cloud as it comes over the mountains and ranges. And because we've got high pressure up here to the north, that is helping to pull down a warmer airflow. And that same thing is happening around Australia with hot, humid air up to the north, polar air here to the south. So on the air pressure map, you can see those uh, areas going on. The high pressure zone to the north, zipping past Tonga, Fiji, New Caledonia, Vanuatu, and around near uh, Queensland. And then that comes into New Zealand as a northwesterly flow. So that is why the temperatures are going up in some places uh, where they've been over the past few days. And those of you in the east should enjoy some warm weather coming up over the next couple of days. The wintry stuff down here around the Southern Ocean coming up and over Tasmania. And that is going to somewhat come towards us. So the Roaring Forties, as you just saw, pretty active at the moment, and a lot of people ask me, what is the Roaring Forties? Well, this is it right here. Latitude 40 down to 50. And so these are the areas that are fully into the Roaring Forties. Very little land. So you've got a little bit here around Tassie. That doesn't do anything to slow it down as it comes into New Zealand. It goes all the way up to about Whanganui. North of that, it's kind of like a river that's, you know, flooding a little bit. And so you get the, the windy stuff on the outer edges of it. It doesn't just stop in that area, but that is a very windy area of weather. And then you drop down to the furious 50s and the screaming 60s. Gotta love those old nautical terms. Now with the windy weather on the way, look at this, no frosts around other than maybe the very tops of the mountains. And even then it's still only in the moderate kind of risk zone. So that is a, a change from where we've been. And it's all thanks to the high off to the north of us. So that airflow, this big easterly around the subtropical area, drifting down as a nor'wester for the top of the South Island and up around parts of the North Island. So your temperatures will be up, but the wind will also be up, windiest around Wellington, wider upper and Cook Strait area, but even around parts of Canterbury, Marlborough, getting those strong winds coming through. We've also got some convergence, a line of rain stuck between two highs, this high here near New Zealand, the next one, in central parts of Australia. And they've got this little area kind of squashed in between uh, those systems and the lows down here with all the windy westerlies. So there could be a line of heavy rain that gets stuck on Friday around the west coast. It might affect you know, Greymouth, Westport, those areas, but a fine line because just further north or south of that, it is mostly dry. And the polar boundary for now, still south of the country. Not a great deal of change going into Saturday, very little difference. The wet weather's still stuck here around the west coast. It's quite narrow, but there could be some heavier falls in there. And we do see some showers into the west and north island. And again, possibly a little heavy because you've got that subtropical element, daytime heating, all those sort of things working together. But look, windy westerlies, definitely the main theme going into this weekend. By Sunday, Windiest weather is around central parts of the country and moving up along the eastern side of the North Island. Still mild uh, for many of you with a subtropical nor'wester or Queensland nor'wester, so it's not going to be overly cold for you. Similar kind of temperatures around the top of the South Island, but now that polar boundary, the back end of all that low pressure stuff down here, now it starts to dredge up that colder airflow again. Uh, it doesn't affect many places, but Westland, Fiordland, Southland, maybe some parts of Otago, noticing that temperature drop going into Sunday. Western showers, eastern areas are mostly dry. I wouldn't expect too much here coming over into wider Upper. So as we go into next week, that convergence area between the two highs is a little more prominent again. And so we're going to see, again, more cloud in Western New Zealand, more heavy isolated showers coming through there and perhaps some west coast thunderstorms. As you drop further southwards, the lower third of the South Island is under wintry weather, the same one coming up here into parts of Victoria and brushing the border of New South Wales. So definitely a colder change coming back in again as we kick off next week. But those of you in the North Island, subtropical winds coming around the Coral Sea and the islands to the north of us. So again, won't be very cold as we go into next week. So as we go through next week, the polar boundary is a little messy. As you can see, it's got this sort of loop-to-loop -loop thing in it, um, a little surge of colder air coming out the side of it behind that line of convergence stuck between the high out to the northeast and the next one here coming out of Australia. Should be an H 
in that just off the coast of Sydney. So this is a line of wet weather kind of trapped in between and you never know you might get some uh, areas of wet weather forming even in the eastern side of the North Island where it's drying out especially around Hawke's Bay. Doesn't look like a huge amount though so don't get too excited but there is some wet weather chances here as we go into Tuesday of next week. By Wednesday that looks like it spins off as a low pressure zone near Tasmania although this far out not 100% uh, locked in. So more storms next week south of us, more highs coming out of the Tasman Sea and north of New Zealand that ceiling of high pressure north of us which means the windy weather is in between the highs and the lows. So we're back to another surge of windy westerlies on Wednesday. The reason why the blue line does that weird sort of shape the southern Alps just simply get in the way of it and it means that it's colder on the west coast not so much over on the east coast. And that little blip there still around on Thursday as it snakes around the southern Alps. Wintry weather around Southland. Temperatures are down next week in Southland although you do have some warm weather coming up this week. It's not all bad news but you do still have that wintry stuff carrying on. North Island is also the weather goes downhill to some degree on Thursday of next week. Showers, windy southwesterlies back in again and the high to the north. Although with these northern highs that's limiting the amount of rain that falls. The showers get lighter and lighter the further northwards they go up the country. So next week, one uh, just over a week from now, another high coming into the top of New Zealand keeping weather mostly dry. There'll still be clouds though on the west coast. Maybe a few west coast showers further down around the South Island, certainly around Fiordland and Stewart Island. The polar boundary back southwards again, that's because your airflow by the end of next week is a nor'wester out of Australia. Now as we go into next weekend, always this far out, things can certainly change. We're over a week away now and as you can see there's a lot of chaos around. We're trying to look for the pattern inside that chaos. So what we see here next Saturday could be, could be, not locked in, but could be a wintry burst of windy cold wet weather for the South Island. I, I can hear your groans through the to the TV uh, screens. Windy Norwest is ahead of it or westerlies for the North Island so blustery weather is looking likely next weekend certainly with that southerly coming in on Saturday. And then by Sunday high pressure north of us once more, low pressure south of us again and the polar boundary being dragged back southwards as more of our wind and air comes out of Australia. So this is on one level very textbook spring but on the other level the sudden stratospheric warming, the SSW occurring around Antarctica high up, uh, that is definitely making stormier weather around the southern ocean at the moment around the entire southern hemisphere which means as we said the other week more of these spring-like conditions could carry on for a bit longer yet. Look at the rainfall for the next 10 days, 300 millimeters plus or at least 200 to 300 millimeters coming in for parts of the west coast. The pale blue over here next to the greens and the yellows lowest end of the scale and a wee bit of spillover maybe for some dry parts of Hawke's Bay but look at the top of the country not overly wet as well and those rainfall numbers dropping around places like Waikato, Auckland and Bay of Plenty after a very wet run in recent weeks. That is all from me for today and last map I wanted to show you from a weather forecasting perspective this is quite often how I see the weather. I see the, the screen like that, the north north would be actually southwest for us because you see those winds straight in off the roaring 40s, uh, you know, no land to slow them down. One island here to maybe do a little bit but it doesn't do much. So strong winds come in. This is why New Zealand is so windy so often all, all year round but especially at this time of the year. Thank you very much for joining me. See you again tomorrow with our next New Zealand update.